Hello everyone, episode 33 of the Training 1 to 1 podcast. Uh, I'm not going to go bluffing around, acting the maggot. Morgan, without further ado. Nilo, who's your man? King He's there. panicking. That's their away kit, by the way. Oh yeah, we were talking about uh, Villarreal uh, don't have an away kit uh, as a football conspiracy. What colour is it? It's like purple. And yeah. Oh, nice. Ones. That's a vintage kit now. So when you pull that, if, if I saw a, a Villarreal away kit, I, I'd look twice. As in you'd think about buying it? No, I'd look twice like, what the hell is that? Yeah. I've never seen that before. It's like a monstrosity. Who's yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? All right, Nalo, hit me. I need to get back on the board here. I'm one on ages. I'll stop. <laughs> I remember my mother's guess. That Wait, was like it, does this well I played status. with lads when he was 12 or something? What's the story? Does yeah, the no offsides now, sides now sides. right? Actually, no offsides. They grew up on the same road. He doesn't have a William. Player's career has included playing for City, Newcastle and Villa. <gasps> James Miller. I was going to say that and I wasn't sure. <laughs> I was, lads, it came to me head straight away and I was like, I couldn't remember it when he was in City for some reason. <laughs> I'm actually fuming with myself. Lads, I was going to say your man Vassal. Remember that centre half? Darius Vassal. Remember him? Oh, Vassal. Forward. Yeah. What a player. I'm pretty sure. He played for City. Played for Villa. I don't know if he played for Newcastle though. Uh, I was like, that's too audacious. James Miller. You want to scrap this? Who's your man? Because I'm running away with it. I think th- I think you go off the scoreboard now. There's I'm not running away money. with it. No, you, oh, yeah. we'll claw back. Well, I right, care. I don't know why I was think thinking Gareth Barry season, for a <laughs> second. I think we might need to do a new season. <laughs> need new game. Need new game, right? New game be good actually. I had a question. Recommendation. Well, I'll tell you what, right? We might get Kinger a belt, and then we hold that belt now for that for that first title. Did I win the quiz as well? Yeah. You did, yeah. Actually, can I come in there? You, yeah, rat. <laughs> oh, no. You answered a question mid it, remember? Mid uh, the quiz, yeah. That I the was quiz, answering. The quiz was a draw. Yeah, but you answered a question that I was answering, and G gave it to him. What do you mean? I answered? Oh yeah, I, I yeah, buzzed yeah. in, and you just spread out the answer. And G goes, "That's right," and I was like, "Well, I was buzzed <laughs> in," and you go, "Well, I'm taking it," and that was it. And that's how I lost the quiz. Well, look, so I'll sound G. That's you know, Just throwing that in there. Well, if Daly was there, he would have won. So. Quiz muster. On the uh, on the contrary to the to the previous podcast, which was just a, a conversation, uh, today we're going to talk about how to set goals. Um, I think actually a good time to have this conversation is late in January when this podcast will be out, because uh, in my opinion, there's a lot of uh, paranoia and there's a lot of um, yeah, paranoia is a good word about people setting goals early in the year. Uh, not hitting expectations and kind of coming into the new year on a high. So I think it's a good time to uh, discuss it and then release it in late January. Um, I think a good place to start would be to talk about if everybody here sets goals, why they do or why they don't, and uh, kick from there. Morgan, do you want to start? I will. I personally don't set goals. I have <laughs> done <laughs> with... Um, with Amy, would you believe? I don't feel <coughs> it as a personal thing. So I, we just pick topics and then we set goals for it and that's it. Mine is based around P1 to 1 mainly though. So Are these individual goals? Like you kind of, yeah. It's kind of like yeah, the same okay. bracket. Yeah, okay. So like, I don't like setting my own goals. But right. she has, she'll say something like, what do you want to do this year in terms of that? And it could be something so simple. By goals, like I'm not talking about like, I don't know. What's a generic goal that everyone tries to do? Yeah, lose, lose weight. weight yeah. For example, yeah, I'm not really looking at that. But like things like visiting a country or something like that. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Bucket Maybe listy, kind of. Kind of not even bucket listy. Yeah. That'd be one example, but there's more. Yeah, things, yeah. But we just yeah. kind of bounce off things like that. You talk through some of them. I can't even think of it. It's in Amy's phone, so we'll oh, okay. revisit it in like a couple of weeks. And actually, right. I'll talk to her now after this. Now, <laughs> like, ring her what now. What did I say? You're sleeping. Because Wake I, up. She, I don't like doing it, so she she kind of asked me the question, yeah. and then I think it's a good way of me actually thinking about it. Are these like? <laughs> Couple goals. Are these like partner goals? Not really. Or no, what are they? Not, some things like so, like going on, going to visit a country or doing X amount of things together would be, but that's not the whole thing. It would just be like so one of them would be like, "What do you want social media following this year on like each platform and stuff?" Now we do that anyway. We done that internally the other day. Me and I don't fit in for Q one. We'll do that as a business anyway for the content team. Well, but we do that in business, so I wouldn't even consider that my personal goals. But and then from a personal point of view, that's the only bit of personal thing I'd be doing and even then it's nothing like crazy detailed or anything like that I was never really like that so I, I the more like casual goals more like casual probably yeah, yeah, yeah casual yeah. is the only yeah I wouldn't even say like goals is probably the wrong, wrong way to describe it it's just kind of like t- outcomes I want to have by the end of the year or pushing towards outcomes what's I supposed to do the goal but 
You know what I mean? Not not your mm. generic goal setting. Why? Sh- I think you're quite a regimented, organized person. Yeah, don't like it though. Why? I don't like setting a goal. I've no interest in doing it. Not even I like pushing towards something. Obviously, I push myself every day, but I don't want like I don't know even know what to quantify. So maybe yeah. learning how to do, it, but I actually don't want to do it. I just like going day by day. I'm very much go go go. So if I'm just constantly, I feel like if I'm constantly looking at this goal, it doesn't suit me personally. But yeah, that's why. Would I being would I be correct to saying that you don't have any individual goals because everything that you're doing is currently pushed in training one to one? Pretty pretty much yeah. And then obviously the external stuff with Amy. It's pretty much it. That's how I live my life. I like it. Hmm. Gary, it's interesting. Over to you, sir. What was that? What question? Do I? Yeah. Do you? Yes. Why do you? Why do I do it? I I kind of I like having. See, I don't like targeted like. Not how much like the whole lose weight is one like very. I don't know. It was outcome based the way you describe them. Mine are all processes I want to have in my life. I suppose mm-hmm. or. And that there is actually stuff then that's more outcome based as well. But I categorise mine by So four categories categories. One, two, three. Oh, I can't remember four. Cat you do categorization anyway. Yeah, yeah. So one is like one is like habits and knowledge is kind of what I'd call it. So it's like about book reading, paper reading, uh oh what if there's something else now as well, I can't really remember. Then one section is the team of culture, one section is one to one, and the fourth section is I think it's like bigger, finance, it, money. Yeah, like it's like kind of I think it's just bigger personal goals. So yeah, it'd be yeah, like that. It would be Oh, they're nice categories. Yeah, I don't know, like like my A license is, is one. Yeah. For this year, let's say. Um that'd be the four I do. Yeah, I don't know, I just like have it. I like taking them off when they're done. <laughs> There's a weird feeling about doing that, that's nice. So I do that day to day, which is interesting. Yeah. I took off day to day. I think we spoke. I do, yeah, I do the same with like yeah, with journaling. Yeah, yeah, journaling. yeah. That would be my thing, but yeah. Yeah. Not, not a, a big overall goal. Goal set like the four categories. Yeah, I would have done them um, November and December between two. If I think of another one or something like that, I put them in. Yeah. Um, and then obviously weekly, like right on my schedule, and like that, take it off when it's done. Or if it's not. Kinger? Nope. Don't. I don't do it. Never have. I'd love to. And I'm happy to learn. See how you do it. You need to get a day to, uh, week to view journal. Do the ones. I only <laughs> bought one four days ago. I bought a week to view Let's journal. Go. And it wasn't even a day. It was a week to view journal. Yeah. They d- I don't like the day to view ones. They're too well, thick and junky. I literally oh, I need the small ones. I used it today. I got it. And I haven't used it since. Really? Yeah. Just to have you it. You were putting your yeah, assignments and all of them, I'm telling you. And not, the thing is, I bring it everywhere with me. So it like, sits in the car with me and it like, goes in wherever I go. Like, yeah. Same. And obviously yeah. Really? Else. That yeah. was my plan. Mine's yeah. only on my plan. desk. Because the nah. only time I'm in my car is if I'm going to team one to one and I've, no, I've done everything prior to that. That's it. Yeah, no, I've, I've, mine's everywhere with me. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think if everywhere. I was to do it, I think I'd have to have it everywhere with me because I spent yeah. half my life in my car. So I have yeah, to have it in the car. But like, I have a to-do list. Like a place I want to do. I want to go to every sporting event. So whether it's like WrestleMania, Olympics, oh, Olympics. Oh, Olympics. Bucket list UFC, there. Super Bowl. Uh, what's the, the yeah, Wimbledon? The I want to go Wimbledon. That's I want to go to the snooker. F1. I want to go to the darts. F one. I want to go to F one. So go one big event in all the major Olympics. sporting categories. That's cool. I like that. That's what I want to do. Here we go with you. Um, <laughs> question on this: Do you, I hate using like the calendar on my phone? I can't. It's like I can't read books. I can't read <laughs> I, books on uh, Kindles now. I, I hate that. I have it for two humans, him and him, and Paddy. I'd have for Paddy. You've seen Paddy on Google Calendar. On Google Calendar, I'm talking about my phone calendar. Oh, yeah. My you know when people like set like appointments Nile on away, the phone. Nile away. Nile away. Nile away. Nile away. <laughs> Nile away. <laughs> Call with Finn. Nile away. That's away all. Where? Right. Away. Like Just away. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Lost. Somewhere. Sunday 22nd, Sunday 29th, away. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I don't like using the phone at all for a plan. Yeah, or than that. Because some people I know do, like... I have to write, do you have that feeling? Yeah. I have to write anything. Even G tries to get me, put that in the dock. I'm getting better. 
You are. But I just need to write. I need to write yeah, yeah, a blank piece of paper. Oh. A blank piece of paper is unscalable, oh, though. Endless. You can make a paper airplane. You can write <laughs> your 2020 two goals 2023 2023 goals you could draw you could draw uh, uh, what's that game you'll never look back at it though you'll never look back at a blank piece of paper you could draw it's good to write down at the time like yeah Yeah. and then it's gone no no see that's where you're wrong (laughs) I have sheets of blank piece of paper with ideas and then they go into the right category at the right time it's hard to transfer them I just get Morgan big notebooks just blank paper big notebooks blank get it out categorise that's unbel- you categorize it. No, not the sheet. I will take what I've written and put it into. So, say for example, I have a content idea. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll write it in the content thing with a little more detail. In well, a, no, con- the content time, thing is weeks con- time. Is content you have like folders. Yeah. That is unbel- Are you the same? It's similar enough to some things. Are you like yeah. that as well? Yeah, I will be with coach and stuff. Yeah. That is unbelievable. That is. <laughs> yeah. I need to start smarting up a bit. <laughs> smarting up. <laughs> That's dead. Like, honestly, that is. I'd love to be like that. I'd Just have a stream. Ideas are great until they're gone, Kinger. Sorry, that's what I, I was getting at with it. I think your goals, because this is actually the whole point of the podcast, I think goals should be more based on a process you want to be better at, like a habit, because essentially that's what you're trying to do is create a habit that rather than going, I'm going to lose X amount, or like I'm going to, let's say if you're a player listening to this and you're like, I'm going to get a contract with X team or whatever, like that's just an end goal it's like oh great i'll just think but you have to think how are you going to get that and there might be three things you can do better it's going to be like could be i'm going to make sure i i don't know learn more about nutrition this year or like something to do with your routine or something to do with your habits if you were to target three or four things that feed into that overall goal yes you're going to be a lot better off whether you achieve the goal or not you've still got the three or four habits so i go i try to go quite process based like you're looking at sustainability with the process it's like reading is one like i set a target to read x amount of books not because I want to read that many, but like just to process of reading every day, like or whatever, whatever it might be. I think that's and then kind of what important. you read will aid everything that you're doing <coughs> yeah. in your life. Pretty yeah. much, you'll be taking in a piece of information here and there. That's a good way of looking at it. What Process. advice would you have to me if I don't do it? Or how would I get a goal? Then? A goal then? And why would I do it? Yeah. Any use? It's a good question, man. I think the week the view journal is the best. I, I, that was, I was meant to bring in the knickknack of that, but I completely. Oh, I have it. Um, we'll go through it at the end. Uh, the first journal I had, I was saying to Boys earlier, was literally like, what would you even call them? The sky, size ones. Little, literally. They're like, the, like rectangle. They're tiny. Oh, oh yeah. Tiny yolks. Yeah, man. I, oh, it's like a, like a they fit in your shirt pocket. Yeah, like. oh, tiny. I, that was the first one I used. And it's so funny looking back at now. It would just say like, because this is still play time. So Tuesday, we just had to train it. Near the bottom. And obviously the top of the day would be the morning or whatever. Or like, if I had a college assignment, it'd be like, exercise so like there'd be like one thing filled in each day and <laughs> i'd still take it off like and, and go through just something about taking off a uh, day or going through that you've done that day yeah. but then you look at it now and there could be like eight things written uh, for the daytime bef- to have done before the evening like before like the sessions or whatever it might be yeah. um, I was good at that just start school. small man school, just journal. Journal. i used to have like you know the way you can see all the days yeah i used to literally x every single day when i done it that's yeah that's and i write all the stuff and like like what you said i would say like easter holidays and i write easter for every day of it and then yeah. i just exit <laughs> so i think like just true that. just start man and you'll find that you're like god oh, this is a bit stupid like there's three days i haven't written that name but like eventually you'll get to a stage where in a year's time you'll add more like i'll think of something let's say it's like i don't know i might have like seen something on twitter like as a drill and i want to like animate it or whatever and i'll just forget that in my head so i'll just write that my journal animate x thing and then like you'd add like i'd put tiny things in there mm-hmm. or, like I, pain the bleeding towel every, i'm desperate for everything remember. that's what i mean yeah everything is in that week you'll eventually just that. just start that i'd say mm-hmm. uh, yeah. how does that roll that's not the exactly goals, goals then, yeah though. how does that roll with the goals well it's, it, it's a process i would say yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean i think the, the big thing is that you need to get your foundation correct with with um with having x target and using the process as y so the process is writing down the things that are going to aid what's in your mind so mm-hmm. if you've got i don't know you're playing i don't know let's say p mount one week but there's x amount of things that need to be done up to that you need to write them down on paper let's say you need to go through like uh specific tactical things with your center half but you might forget to do that as the days go on so i'm just using the football example so you'd write that down in your journal but i use my daily diary um to aid my like 12 month goals if that makes sense so you can kind of you can form it together but i think before you even start writing goals i think you need to have a really good understanding of 
yourself and the conversations around goals. That's something that I took a lot of um, thought with the last four months. Because um, I think I, I think a lot of people um, make goals out of shame. So like they don't like things about themselves and they'll put down things on paper. Like I want that to improve. But I think it's coming from a place of, um, yeah, shame is a good way to put it. Like didn't get that, feel bad about myself there. Like I want to lose you know, 16 pounds or whatever the fuck. Um, and I think that's a bad path to go down. I think you need to be quite careful on what you put down on paper because it's it's in plain writing then, what you want to see. But there's different ways to go about it. I think the best thing is definitely starting small and doing actionable things that you know that are definitely going to age you. Yeah, uh, like, processes work well. Yeah, look, I'm just thinking, like you said, you want to go to these events, let's say. To get there, you're obviously going to need money. So mm-hmm. it's like, how do I make money? Yeah, reverse engineering. Yeah. So like... I need money. <laughs> <laughs> and then you might go like, oh, yeah, I don't know, like start this, do this, do more. like, And it goes from there, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I just don't like big overall, like... The biggest goal I, I wrote down for this year, for example, is to complete my A license. But I know I'm already on it and hopefully will. Like, but I don't like like that. I don't like big lose this. Do like what? I'm just 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 fine. Like, Depends, goals. man. I, I re- it's I, so easy to hit or miss. Like I really like hit. I mean, I like target goals. I'd say. Yeah, really? yeah I do. Yeah. How would you feel if you missed them? So let's say if you said complete your A license and say you failed his A license. Let's say oh, I failed my B first time. And and that was a goal. One of your goals. Yeah, it was on paper. And then does that be like? Oh, Obviously, you're gonna be like that anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I when I was younger, yeah. Make it any worse? Yeah. I think I don't harp on about it all the time here, but uh, like a mindfulness practice has really helped that. I remember, like, one of my goals last year was to meditate every day, and I think I made it to like 146. But the day that I missed it, I was like, ah, sorry, I done 140 days. It's better than what I done last year. So mm. I don't know. It depends what mindset you go with. I'm the same with Gary though. I do all categories, so I have like five big goals that I want in like five years and then my category goals aid those five goals so it's just a 12 month term mm. so within the 12 months uh let's say for the seven categories they each have smaller goals some are process so like i want to you know actually one of the one of a really good goal that i heard from um uh the guy at the rubber bandits around blind boy it was like um i want to approach every person that i meet with kindness but approach in the sense that it is 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 well worded because he's going to be in situations where he's not going to be able to do that but he just wants to be in the place that if uh, something ever happened with somebody that he would approach it correctly so it's just it's a process thing more so than like you know every single person i meet i have to be this but that that's impossible it's, mm-hmm. it's the world's too malleable so um i always go with some that are category but when i pick category goals they are very well thought out and I know that they're a little bit out of the comfort zone. So you just got to be careful. You have to be super self-aware. Oh yeah, super self-aware. I started writing my goals in October last year in a, in a, in a journal. So I have, a, I have a, a diary like him and Gary's the one who put me onto that years ago. So I have a, a diary, I have a journal and I have a black notebook. So the black notebook is if I hear something really nice on Twitter or uh, someone on a podcast, I'd write it down in that notebook. It's like a, like a, like a wisdom notebook of anything. Mm-hmm. The journal is where I, if I'm in like a flow state or just like sit on a chair, I'm just like, oh, like I want to do it with my goals. So I just start writing out the categories, getting a feel for it. If I put something on a paper, I don't like the look of it. I don't like the, the feel of it. Mm. I'll ask myself why. I just sit there and just say, like, like, why does that not feel right? Or why am I putting that down? As one goal, for example, I put down a pair. I was like, like, that's not, that's just not you. Mm. Like, it just isn't you. Like, you're doing that for something else. or You're doing that because like either society or whatever. And you catch yourself there. You know what I mean? And especially if it's numerical, like why are you doing that? Is that to aid you? Is it to aid the people you love? Or is that just to aid your ego? And there was some egotistical goals there and they were just wiped out because that was just one part of my brain that was talking about them at one stage. But uh, as Morgan was saying, there's a, there's a commonality. It's always writing. Writing is a very good expression. It's very hard to... um. Very hard to untangle songs. your thoughts. Like My he, writing is pox. <laughs> like when do you write? When do you write most? Like do you write first thing in the morning, or would you write like say if you go home now, would you write loads, or just write all the time during the day? In terms of like your day to day journal. Yeah, like your your week to view, you know, or your day to day journal. I have. Or you've so like Finn probably would have seen it today, as I would have had like four or five set things I do every day. 
mm. that have to be done. So like session plans for today. But when do you write them? For so they'll be written. The day, like I generally have them written a week in advance because oh. there are set things. N- n- yeah, that's what happens. The set today, things I feel, are they monthly, need yeah. to be done. Mm. Yeah. And then today I was uh, doing more graffiti at the desk. And I was like, I have to do that tomorrow. Right down. That's it. It's done the next what day. What if you're out walking the dog and you go, uh, <gasps> I have to do that Set an to, alarm. Go to, phone, phone. Go to my phone, go back, write it. King, you're but a good idea. In general, AD. it's gotten to a stage when I first started. I've snagged list on my, my phone. thing would be like three or four things on the list. Yeah. For t- and I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. Yeah. And then when you're sitting at a desk all day, number one, it's easier because it's more accessible. <laughs> yeah. That's number one. And then number two, um, you get into such a habit of like doing it every single mm. day. That you start to just write things quicker, and you're like, okay, I need to do that, I need to do that, I need to do that, and then there'll be some random things like today we we had the membership thing, uh, all the welcome packs. Mm. First time we'll ever do that in such bulk, and probably the, never as big again. So we had to organise how to dish them out. So I had time allocated to that, and that's it. Me and Finn came back from uh, where we just collected them, mm. and that was it. Straight to work. Yeah. So then, you know, you said do them a week in advance. Yeah. I mean, there's a certain day every week that you yeah. do them a week in advance. Not really. Whenever I like, I could be sitting at my desk and I could be after doing a thumbnail for a YouTube video, and I see four or five days that, like that's blank. I'll just write exactly. Yeah, what I'm to literally the exact same. Yeah, I do really structured things. I know they are a month in advance and like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, yeah. oh, dude, look, I have to pay the e-toll, man. Right K- yeah, Kinger. This is to answer your question of what you no, do when you're out walking the dog. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> my missus hates me for this, and people I live with, and people in work, because I just literally have alarms yeah. of everything. And there's stupid things here, boys. I've had for so years. Like, like, like if I walking, think, let's say I'm out walking, that's a great idea. I set an alarm for like an hour's time to remind me to say it to somebody or do it. And it's funny, the ones it's I have at ridiculous, literally at ridiculous times in the morning are like, there's just quotes here, like. This is, here's one <laughs> put down the bat and stop beating yourself up it's just a quote I just wrote and <laughs> I keep good. it at them times because then I might see that again and use it or whatever yeah. that's mad just, just, just go yeah there's little hacks and tricks you just yeah. gotta start though man you need to start yeah you don't <laughs> need to start <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fru- you'll so find something that you're like oh that works so well for me yeah. you're, you're actually Joe you know consciously you won't say that but subconsciously yeah. your body would be like yeah. oh, okay yep. doing you gotta be yeah like some people uh, like for my goals for example the seven categories are written out, all the sub goals are written out, and that'll be just like plonked onto my wall in my bedroom every day. Because I really like the accountability of it. It's like you put that on paper, you're going to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, I like the idea of it being on the wall where you wake up every day and it's like. You but that's quite intimidating to some people because the first thing they look up and they see is um, they're scared because that's a better version of themselves and they're not that yet. And that that's yeah. an intimidating place to be. Then you got to be self aware to be in that place and be like, I need to put that on paper. Mm-hmm. I think so. I think, yeah. Again, it all comes out of self Revisit your year to go and often throughout the year, or like yeah. I kind of could go two or three months without having looked at them and I look back and go, oh, like four of them are done now. I did them quarterly. Yeah. yeah. But like the minute you do one, will you go back and tick it off your goal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. the moment's done. Yeah. yeah. I know it as well. The moment's done. Just tick. It's actually, you know, it's a nice feeling. Mm. I tell you what, that though, I found a little joy now in achieving goals over the last 18 months. Really? Now, yeah. th- and how would that affect you? That's my. You like, had little I, I feel joy. Like, yeah, little joy. Okay. Yeah. I feel like if I had not, if I set a goal, say to make four hundred million by mm. twenty thirty five, mm-hmm. it's twenty thirty six, and I made two hundred million. That's a terrible example because it'd be chuffed at two hundred million. But it's <laughs> <laughs> an awful example. I don't know. If I, I set a goal to win the league, and I didn't win the league, I'd be like, oh. Yeah, but you can't control winning yeah. the league. It's exactly. so. That's mean. That's why I don't like that. Like do or die goals I just think they're mental yeah they're but so easy to fall me. off like. I wouldn't be able to yeah. I'd be like if I li- like, oh, if I set my goal in January and come September I didn't achieve it I'd be like pulling my hair I think if you're going to put down a quantifiable goal so let's say I want to be 72 kg and like I don't know 11% body fat um, you have to make sure that's within you set goals on what's called the smart parameter if you probably heard that before like have you heard that term before? The smart goals thing. Yeah. Yeah. Specific. Yeah. Specific, yes. Specific, measurable. Measurable. specific, measurable, achievable, mm. achievable realistic. Time, time, yeah, and time, 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 people are like, oh, I've already heard that. Have you really? Have you really sat down and really ticked the boxes that yeah. it matches all of them? So it's a good, it's a good metric. Um, when you say the goals that you failed to achieve. Like, mm-hmm. Does that affect you negatively? Because you said depends what it was. There was <coughs> one or two last year that I, I um. I thought I'd hit and I didn't and I was a bit pissed off, yeah. Mm. 
they kind of oh they, so I thought you meant you had little satisfaction in the ones you did achieve you mean both okay right, right, right. both would you then go and yeah. say like if it's a goal that you failed would you be like alright I'm going to set it for, further down the line yeah I would reevaluate why I didn't hit it and then make some adjustments or changes definitely I don't know I think the reason why in correlation to dopamine as well you get much better hits when you do something when you least expect it typically so let's say for example if you stumbled across I don't know whatever let's say I don't know let's say you found 50 quid it's much better than like working 50 quid and people always say that like oh I want to earn that money but I mean put the work in you get handed the money it's kind of what you expect nearly whereas if you just find 50 quid it's like oh holy shit yeah, that, that's yeah, class yeah. like so I don't know but I don't know the last two years or that, definitely the last 18 months I've definitely turned a corner where I don't get like high highs or low lows I'm very much just like swimming in a, in a, in a placid I way think, like I think the, like we're I know there's definitely people busier than us but we are very busy humans like we all daily has a team a business to run and work full time you're the same, bar a team. You work full time, a thing. I'm obviously full time two one to one, but it's it's manic like. So we're pretty like today we're what seven a.m. to or eight a.m. to <laughs> make it home half one, and then we go <laughs> we go again tomorrow. Like that's pretty crazy for for a lot of people. But like that's why when we're like so go 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 go, everything's just like pretty mellow in the middle. It's never massively higher, massively mm-hmm. low because you got something to do the next day, which is a generic way of saying like you're busy <laughs> <laughs> but it is like that though it is yeah. Yeah. so you can never like rest on it i know it's the, again that's uh-huh. a generic thing to say but yes yeah. not uh this is for well it's, yeah uh, for any is uh how far would you go set that like that's realistic because like obviously you don't want to be saying things like i don't know it's up to you like how far would you go into the future before you're like okay that's a bit a bit, you'd always just stick to it. You won't go. Yeah, people, like, people ask yeah. all the time. Don't they about two and ones? Like, where do you see yourself in five years? I don't have a clue. Yeah, I like, example, don't care. But I do care. But it could be anything. Hmm? Like, like you're open to me. Just for example, this is for example. Would you, would you be like thinking? Oh, I'd love to have a house by. Yeah. Then, oh yeah, yeah big you time. Know, that type of stuff, yeah. You, you think that's too big? No, I think three years is is a good way to do it. I think three years you can do a lot. If, but I mean, again, the the longer the time category, the broader the goal should be. It's not a specific. It yeah, but as Gary said, if you want a house, you need money, you need a down payment, you need mortgage, you need yeah. X, Y, Z. And that's exactly how my short-term goals are focused. So let's say, for example, if I want a house before 30, I need to have, let's say, for example, I don't know, 40 grand for a down payment. What does 40 grand look like? You can break it down per week. Yeah. If, you, if you're that meticulous. Now, I, I love data and I am meticulous like that. So, and then I, that's kind of what it is. Like, once I see the money going out of the account... I just I know it's a part of the process. I know it's going to take, let's say, twenty four months or whatever the, the hell. Like, you know, because you have that goal, you know what it's yeah, to like I, I have laid the foundation. But I mean, I'm very meticulous. Not a lot of people are meticulous in that sense. And I don't. It's actually not a nice place to be, for me, honest with you. Because if one thing is out of the crack, I'm out of sync, and I don't like that at all. Like, but I mean, I was saying to Morgan today. The amount of people now have said to me, just like fucking hell, like you're so organized and stuff i was like well i'm kicking myself every day because i don't think i'm organized at all so his to their own so different that's kind of the big yeah. thing with things let's say like goal setting yeah big time man yeah uh, ours might sound like a bit how did how do you get the six categories of that like your first goal could be either, like read a book this year yeah it's so simple and then like man, i said to you like a journal bed just like start journaling like i said the first one i've done is so funny looking back on mm. like, what five years ago or six years mm-hmm. ago where it's like so basic and now it's like so much more complex but like that's why i don't like five year and ten year goals that aren't like like where it's like i could never five years ago have pictured that now yeah, that's, fair. that's it yeah I, I don't like you said like some where is it going to be in five years i don't know who like who knows man who knows? you just oh yeah yeah no, as long as you're doing something good day to day you've got a good chance of whatever that five years yeah be. what's the, the biggest benefit day? of goal setting why do you go to make, why, like, make sure to make sure habits and your process is better is what I would say for me like personally if I, if I want to get a new job next year which I don't currently have <laughs> but if I want to get yeah, a new well, job next year I'm smart and say that was my, my goal is to get a job in 2024 mm-hmm. yeah I'm not gonna I don't write it down but that's my job my goal like I did well you, you know could I mean? yeah why do, why do like I don't write it down, but then I still want to get the job, and if I get the job, then I get the job. Not that kind of way. It's yeah. accountability is what goals give you. Yeah. Yeah. 
but I still got the job. Yeah. So what, say we're a year what, down the line now and I got the job. Where's the goal high enough then? How do I explain this? The two of us done it, right? You wrote a goal and you said, next year I want that job and I, I want that job. Why didn't write down or I didn't? So what you're I just to today to get but then you could then go, uh, the job's with it, but you could go after six months. Ah, sure. Yeah. I'm already bothered. Yeah. So Whereas I think if you write it down, you're a little bit more, because you have to cross out if you write it down or throw yeah. it out or something. Yeah, and you shouldn't write down unless you're like totally like... Yeah. Well, still a goal king. It's just not written down. Depends yeah. on who yeah. you are as a person if you're going to go after like... I just like writing because it's accountability. Mm. Personally. Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm cheating myself. I don't. I'm giving myself a way out. Give myself a way out. Yeah, Depends if that. if it's worth it. It should be on paper. Definitely. Yeah. It's like it's like a marriage. You got to sign a deed. It's like sign. We had to sign. Um, like originally it was a partnership deal. We all need to put a signature on it for the, when we shifted over to a different company structure. We all had to put our signatures on it. Yeah, somewhere being wrote down. Yeah, I think down. when something's written, it's in the stone. It's also in human genetics, isn't it? All the thing back in the day, everyone just writing everything, all the scriptures, all that. It's all about writing. It's in us. There's a lot of golden writing, yeah. It's Gary, Gary as well, another one for you too. Just based on what you've said, would you... Um, sorry, Morgan. No, because I think, I don't know if you... Well, maybe you do. I don't know. It's just the way they were saying about their goals. Say for the boaties, you were like, I want to work full-time. We're training one-to-one by 2024. Uh, would you de- would you write that like say the top of the page and then kind of do it like uh, is it a spider dog when you br- come down and go I need to do I need to do this and this and to do that that is that yeah you, you I wouldn't do that no I, I would yeah. make it day to day the blueprint oh it. yeah man hundred percent it's it's the only way it. in my opinion it's the only way that I could do it yeah. it's the only thing that's worked for me definitely reverse engineering is what it's called how far would you go with a breakdown. Like to day to, could you bring that something that big? Could you bring that down the whole way to like day to day sort of? Yeah, that's mad. Well, I'd, like for the, I don't know. One of the main goals, for example, um, I think we all want like a property or a house. So, for example, so that's one of them. So, you can because money is data. It's very easy to reverse engineer it. But the problem is other goals filter into it. So if you want more money, you need better paying jobs, or you need to find ways to make more income and stuff like that. So. Um. Yeah, you just got to be quite aware of the path, and you need to understand as well that some goals you're not going to be able to reverse engineer. Some of them are going to be process based, and it's not about it's not about the end goal. It's about the process, if that makes sense. Reading books is a good example. Of that. Yeah, big time. Um, which is an interesting one. But uh, yeah, reverse engineering for me works. But again, that's uh, because I'm a mat- I'm a meticulous person who enjoys data, who enjoys writing, who enjoys structure. Mm. Not a lot of people are like that. So it really depends. As Morgan said, self awareness is the key. Um, yeah. And finding what's best for, for you. you and what yeah. works. And keep your goals high level if, it, if you're starting. Three of us are essentially the same human. Obviously, we're not, but we're very close in proximity. And even the way we think, the same morals, values, so on. We're like, we're even just this conversation about yeah. goals say completely different. Because yeah. it, suit, it suits me to just be day to day, go, 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 go. They like to they like to set a broader goal and have be in love with the process. Jeez, so meticulous and detailed about it. three of us so different, yeah. but all very similar in the same way. So you have to do it exactly yeah. the way that suits you. I think yeah. a good way to wrap it up would be is to like, I want to set goals. I want to have a better twenty twenty three. The first thing I would do is be extremely or put a lot of time into being self aware as to why you want to set goals. Do you want to be a better person? Do you want the goals that you are setting? Is it for you or is it for other people? Where's the motivation coming from? Um, and then if you do want to set goals, and I definitely think people should set goals, depending on how many you want to be. But if, if you're starting is to keep them high level. So one goal, start journaling. No categories, start journaling. Uh, get up earlier. Uh, I don't, whatever the hell you want to do. But high level is what, like, go to the bird's eye first. And then you can start to... Mm-hmm. Wiggle your way down, you know. That's what I'd say. What advice do you give? Yeah, no. Writing. What's your say? Writing. Uh, the journal was the best. Mm. I don't say. I think I said it once in this podcast before. But Gary was the one that. Your goals. Yeah. Uh, Gary was um. Gary was my biggest influence for writing. Really? Yeah, big time. Spoover. Changed my life in that sense. Spoover. It's crazy. I write my journal every day. I I I, I genuinely look at the diary and think of him sometimes. Go. <laughs> so lucky that he's in my life in that sense. You just gotta rub off people when they give you. Nuggets. When you say journaling do you, as well, do you write down your feelings and stuff? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. When I think journaling, it's like, oh, I'm journaling about like what's in my head, but like you're, you I just wasn't. I call it journaling and a diary. Different, yeah. I've 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 yeah. Journaling, sorry, journaling. I think by definition is exactly what you're saying. Yeah. It's like taking down your feelings and also writing your to dos and your goals or whatever. That is, I think yeah, that's right, the broad right. way of journaling. Sorry, yeah, to I do's use that. Do's or uh, diary, diary, yeah. a diary. Sorry, yeah, yeah. But also, uh, yeah, diary, like do your diary. But it can also be like your day to day. Yeah, sorry. Well, I meant no, I that was the diary. Sure. But I do have a journal as well. Yeah. That's just purely for uh, keeping in check. Yeah, thoughts, feelings. And how often would you reflect on that then? Or do you ever read, go back uh, and read through that? Yeah, I, I read it uh, about three weeks ago on what I wrote in it in summer and stuff. And yeah, something was pretty dark, if I'm being honest with you. So, no, not bad dark. But I mean, like, I, I wasn't in a good place then in that sense, what was happening. So, but one particular thing. So, it's interesting. You look back, it's like, I'm glad I wrote that down, though. You know? True. Uh, which is interesting. Good. Yeah, but that was one of the notes on it. It's like, it's only. The on the Headspace app it says um, the the blue sky never leaves just clouds are over sometimes that's what you would say mm-hmm. that's, that's going into my what alarm what <laughs> alarm <laughs> one in the, <laughs> the morning the phone's <laughs> ringing <laughs> but, oh, oh, sorry what I meant by dark not I meant authentic because it's exactly yeah. what I felt it's, it's not nice putting things on paper when it's it doesn't reflect good on you or you done something bad and I mean, yeah, it's just... Real emotion. Yeah, true emotion. I, I think um, it's much... I find it difficult to put down things of, like, true joy or happiness. It's much easier now. Uh, it's quite difficult to put down things on paper when you feel bad or if something was done to you or, you know, you done something... I'm not using examples for me. I'm just using general examples. You know, but, you know, raw authenticity in writing is so important. But even, like, Morgan with a creative idea, and he said something that was very important. He said... Um, but ideas, like an idea is as good until it, you forget about it. But ideas, ideas and inspiration are very perishable. Mm. And writing is the the single most concrete thing to keep things alive. Yeah. Or voice notes if you want to go down that route. Yeah. I was thinking voice notes. Who was Simon? Yeah. Shane Long? Was it Shane Long? Some footballer said he's always on the road, so he used to just go voice note and then. Yeah. But I never look back on things. Yeah. Like if I write something down, I never look back at it. You Ever. should. So you will though if it's, day-to-day it's in your day to day journal. Even yes. school, when I take you notes, will in your day to day journal. It's actually something I do because remember, you, or you were, what was it, you were saying you have your like wisdom, yeah, thing, the black book. Yeah. What I do is the top of my uh, week to view. I'll, I actually, if that's one of my goals, is to have a quote of the week every week. So oh, I'll yeah. hear something and I'll put it on the top there. It's great for coaching, by the way. You know, when you do presentations and, all, and you like finishing with a quote or maybe a match, pre match, whatever, you just open the journal like that one that suits this week or whatever and you kind of end up using it then in that sense but um mm. nice yeah i like doing that's actually one i forgot about but <laughs> yeah you your your diary in 2020 was just quotes all over i love that yeah it's class top of the week diary i meant by i'm putting one in this week I have like what's best for the ball four, five a year <laughs> <I'll> say, <laughs> quotes year you know, yeah you're not a big man you're not well, a big quote well, fan one, one hits i love a quote <laughs> i'm on it the, w- who is it? The, the one that we use on pretty much every instagram post now and we have s- see when i when we do it we push it as t mm. one to one if we all agree on something or something every so the trenches was obviously something that we like bit onto so early because i love the idea of being like in the trenches with someone i love that uh, idea that and then like what i was listening to I don't, i'll carry him. i see my problem is i don't write down where i heard it i just hear it like get it down and <laughs> i just use it that's it the repetition removes now. I heard that somewhere, or it was written somewhere. I was like, that is it. Because I was probably thinking about something to do with finishing, and I was like, that is it right there. And that was it. It's Remember, it right w- <laughs> this is the thing, right? Wh- when you structure your life in that sense, where you want to be goal oriented, you, you, you're, you're self aware of what's going to positively affect you. Mm-hmm. You could watch anything or be anywhere mindfully, and things will, you'll hear things that were once originally blind to you. So a good example of that was me and Morgan were watching Gordon Ramsay one day, which is just a, like a typical cook show, but he said this quote in it. And if we weren't oh, paying attention to it, we would have missed it. What was it? The deadly quote. It's about four lines, right? I, um, but if we weren't in that mindset of being aware and, you know, what we, like running a business and having different goals around it, we set up the environment. So when the opportunity came to learn something, we took it. Mm. That's what I mean by the accountability and writing things. It it opens doors like that as well. 
that Here makes sense. But this, this is the quote anyway. Twenty seventh of October, twenty twenty one, at two to twelve at night, <laughs> the lads were indulging in some late night Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> no guidance means no standards, which means no consistency. Bang. <laughs> Love it. Bang. He slapped it out on the chef, and I was like, Gordon. <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. Then he hit the gritty. <laughs> Imagine in twenty twenty one. First mover advantage. <laughs> Can I do my knickknack? Yeah. Just to finish it up. I hit it from everyone. He didn't even do it. Look at these boys. Look at this, yo. Oh, 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 I knew it. I knew it. When he said he, he left me in the car, I was like, oh, no, it isn't. I was like, it's that boot that used to be on a thing. <laughs> in my head, I said it, but it's nobody's going to believe me. First of all, I'm wow. sure of Anyone who knows me, I say these are the best boots of all time. I wore these for roughly two months because I grew out of them. They're a size... Bear with me. No, I'll cut this. I think they're a seven. Because I tried to wear them. They're an eight, right? Toss them. <laughs> I only have one. Toss that. I threw the other one out. I Did think you? I tried these on. I threw, uh, only, like, years ago. Should I had these when I was like... Yeah, yeah, the, the retro. That's from... And one of the... Cl- the Clontarf Astros on the bottom of that. You see it? The green Astros on the... Whenever it was... It was dyed green. But the on the, the one in Alfie Byrne. The oh, Belvo Belvo's, play. Belvo's, yeah. 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 <laughs> on the bottom of that. <laughs> They'll be getting smart now. Take them off you, but ankle socks to stay you. Yeah. Anyway, they're my favorite boots of all time. I wore them for yeah, roughly yeah, two boots. months, and I remember breaking them in with Tim, my best mate. He hopped in goals, and we played, I'd say, four hours straight. I wore these for one game as well. My yeah. boots are ripped, and I oh, borrowed these off yeah, you yeah, for a game yeah, or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, man. you can see how so uh, faded they are as well, because I had them. I used to have all my old boots lined out on my um, bedroom window. Oh, yeah. They got damaged by the sun, which is stupid but anyway they are a joke the best boots where are the laces i have no idea i think i, I think i've done that for display it looks really? nicer when they're on the inside so when you pull them in no lace oh the nice yeah, yeah, yeah. are you with no lace when you play no of course i am i'm talking about when i have them on display oh apologies in my own bedroom window display to my oh, ma they're nice yeah. boo but anyway great nice boo anyway they're You're a big C score. Yeah, that's cool, Morgan. Um, and I used to wear them for two months. Uh, and I would wear them in a heartbeat again. CTOs were tops, yeah? They are tops. I thought I was going to bring these customizable boots when you were, when you first signed for Home Farm. Oh, yeah. I cut them. Did you cut them? <laughs> <laughs> do you not have them anymore? I do have them, yeah. Oh, you do? Or I did a big clear out the other, the other I didn't get rid of them, Morgan. The other year. They're a bit ugly now, to be honest with you. They're I, historic. I, they might be. They might be there. I do have. Tell you know what I do have. Um, my next neck, Nick knack that we got bring them in. Uh, the T nineties. They were grey, and a luminous yellow, and it had oh, eggs yeah. on the side. And lovely studs. Did you get them in the Kells Cup? I don't remember the stitching. I know the ones. I think so. Them. Yeah, they're very nice. But that was his highest goal scoring year. That's why. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Anyway, yeah. So that's that, lads. That was good. That was good. That was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. King, are you gonna set goals? Yeah, well, yeah, actually, yeah. I feel like I want to get in the car and start writing. <laughs> good! That's good. good idea. So I, I bought that it. week to view diary last week. Get so that in the it, car yeah. beside you. I'm going to get on it. I'm going to keep in the car. In the middle console there. And I'll oh, let you know in two weeks when we record the next one how I'm getting on. And if I'm still going with it. And if I'm not, then I'll try again. That's all you can do, man. It'd be, something cool. It'd be cool if we could do like a, I don't know, something like that where we have to like go off and try something. Yeah. Like we have to like, and then we have to yeah. report back on how we're getting. Well, we need to handle the song of the week first of all. So, Nile, you need to take the reins on that there, and then we can add this more for two one to one culture. Music come true on the quiz was all right. Yeah, it was the bad. Uh, even uh, YouTube picked up there were songs being played now. Really? Yeah, and got the songs correct. Like for that, just hold on, we're going home for Drake and all that. Caught oh. it correctly. Yeah. And is that not copyright now? It is. Yeah. No. But sure. Uh, we won't talk about that. It's copy. Mm. It's copyrighted where it can get uploaded, but we wouldn't make money off it mm. if it got X amount of views. Oh, that's money we were oh, really? All that money. Wow, that's, that's interesting. We Very interesting. The view is the most boys. views. It is the most viewed <laughs> podcast. It's scandalous, yeah. Which is, uh, Ridiculous. Hilarious. <laughs> well over a thousand. Out of nowhere. Out of yeah. nowhere. People love quizzes, man. People love quizzes. King has boxed Which I thought I would never watch a quiz. Yeah, but I like doing them. No, I, I like definitely would. It is. depends, though. Like, uh, my podcast... Uh, Taste is it's very niche. They are I'm all are input, yeah. I'm all knowledge input. Do you know that lies on YouTube where they get like Premier League footballers? It's, it's like, how many oh. things can you name? I love that 12. So much. That's what I mean. Everyone loves that. We have to do that. 
<laughs> yeah, but that's I'm different so than the type of quiz we've been there now. Just like, yeah, but yeah, because yeah. yeah. I do like them ones. Cara and Neville's gas when they yeah. do like taking like odds awesome. up. Oh yes, yeah, 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 I can see why it went well. Yeah, because I I love quizzes. So interesting, man. Maybe I just don't know the demographic. Maybe I need to we study should, more the demographic. We should do that quiz. Right. That, that, we should do that one. The, the lawyers. Uh, lawyers one, yeah. Be very funny. Yeah. I'd be, be yeah. so bad at that. Would you? Shocking. Would you? Why? What times? Name and like 10 stadiums in 30 seconds. We all will be. 10 stadiums in 30 seconds. We're busy now. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Any quiz. Uh, yeah. I That's said the there was 29 goals from the World Cup now. That's the f- <laughs> fucking hell, like. <laughs> what does she say? Well. Oh, I don't even. I'm not even gonna tell you. <laughs> really, I'm busy now. Busy. Yeah. Oh. Um, that's a wrap. Um, with regards to goals, uh, if you feel like either one of the four of us here, something rang a bell with you, like that's something that I want to learn more about, just feel free to send us an email to admin at training one to one dot com, or direct message us on Instagram. Uh, and we'll be happy to get back to you to help you set your goals for 2023 or any advice. Um, but one thing I will ask, if you are going to email, make sure that you've done a self-awareness check as to why you want to set your goals. That's a big thing, I would say. But other than that, thank you very much. See you soon. Yep. <laughs>